Hello, everybody. Oh, how's it going? It's been a little while, hasn't it? Yes. Yes, it has been indeed. So, okay. I, I'm going to make a series of me trying to max this account very slowly. Um, <laughs> will it happen? Probably not. Um, but I figured I would give it a go. So this is RuneScape for those that uh, maybe are new to my channel or something. I don't know. Um, and I started streaming this brand new account a little while ago, like you know, probably close to like a half a year at least now. And then I stopped because I got bored. Um, this game isn't as easily streamable, at least at the beginning of the game, because I was mostly just doing quests and stuff, which is fun, but you know, people have seen that a million times. So, I think I'm just gonna kind of do like a kind of like Let's Play style uh, leveling up with the goal of eventually maxing out and, I, I don't know, doing other stuff. And, um, as you can see, I've already been playing for a bit, 35 minutes, I was doing some Slayer stuff. I'm also using the Runelite clients, which is controversial, because it like, gives you a bunch of add-ons. Um, like for example this timer down here that's not normally there and a bunch of other things like outlines of where to click with, with certain things so um, The reason why I'm starting this here is because while well, I'm about to level up my strength I, My next go uh, when I go kill some more of uh, some demons and stuff these um oh these uh, uh, lesser demons here. So I want to just like say hey, what's up? Um, right now my goal is really 65 uh, attack and strength so I get into the warriors guild as well as I mean my initial goal before was to get uh, 50 plus all stats And I got pretty close to that before I gave up. Uh, we just had smithing herb lore uh, Thieving range prayer Crafting all right. There's a bit more than I figured um, <laughs> Farming hunter. And I haven't even started really these two. I don't even know how I got this Oh, I can think of that from Tears of Guthix, actually. So, yeah, I'm just gonna kinda play at my own pace, uh, make videos kinda when I feel like it, and um, we'll see how things go from there. Like I said, I mean, will I ever reach the goal of maxing this account? I kinda doubt it. Uh, but yeah, so right now, my goals are essentially level 50 everything, as long as, uh, as well as like dealing, oh, see, that's a lot more expensive, uh, along with, um, uh, along with you know doing combat since combat's kind of like the main thing in this game, right? But 65 I mean, 60 defense would be great too for dragon armor So but 65 strength and attack are kind of my current goal along with you know keep leveling up slayer here um, so I guess I'll see you guys when I just start leveling up and uh, you know, maybe uh, do some quests and such um, yeah, so hopefully this will be a fun adventure and where I'll eventually be bossing and I'd love to try player killing at some point. Will it happen? Yeah, probably not. Um, I'm just gonna try for it. Oh, hell yeah. All right, I'll see you guys when I start getting levels and doing other fun, exciting things. And curse sploosh. Ah, oh, that was gonna give me 70 combat too. Well, with that, we now have 59 strength and now we're out of this world. Look at this, isn't that weird? Oh god, I'm dying just looking at it. What the? I, 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 this hit points level came out of nowhere. It's got 57. I missed it. So I'm stupid. Hey, level 70. Awesome. That actually unlocks a uh, new Slayer Master at combat level uh, 70. Uh, Slayer Masters. Um, Xanarus Master, which is actually what people suggest you start Slayer at level 70 combat, but. 52 levels later, here I am, also the last monster, my lesser demon, so we'll go check out the new master and we'll get some beginner's luck and get the best task and definitely not the worst task possible, right? Right? <laughs> Amazing 26 tiers. Wow. Amazing. Perfect. But it should still get us two hunter levels. I'll, I'll take it. Good. How much experience does that get me? A decent amount. Cool. Well, there's my Tears of Guthics for the week. Alright, beginner's luck. First Slayer assignment from this little fairy fuck. Card- Oh, I hate these! Oh, man! I don't think they have- uh, I think- I, Yeah, I need equipment. I don't bring any money on me! I need the freaking lantern. Wait, 50? Why is it- look? Like, oh, because I need that for the Slayer test! That's cool! Oh, that was also a task for the- Medium Diarian Lumberjan Jainar. Holy crap, it's 53 Slayer! Did I get anything? No! Oh my god! I just got a Dragon Spear! 
Holy crap! Okay, this is an item literally any monster in the game could drop. Not literally any, but most monsters in the game could drop. But the thing is, it is extremely rare. And in my entire years and years and years of playing RuneScape, I have never gotten a Dragon Spear before. Oh my, that's crazy to me. Does I count that I don't even have that many hours in? I just got a Dragon Spear on. That's not worth a whole lot. 37,000 gold. Oh my god, I can't believe that just happened. So anyway, this is the first time I got Fire Giants as a Slayer Task that are strong at my level, because I'm only level 70, these are 86. But um, they are my favorite tasks. I also got a Rune Scimitar, which is worth not that much, but <laughs> 50,000 gold. I think it elks for like 31 or 30,000 30, or something like that. Um, wow, I can't believe that just happened. I got a freaking Dragon Spear! No, it's not. It's, it doesn't mean anything. It's not worth much. It's not a good weapon. It's just like the rarity of it. And that, that blows my mind. I've literally never gotten it before. Anyway, see you in like a few seconds when I get uh, 60 strength. Oops. Whee! And level 60 strength. Awesome. I was going to go straight to 65. But I think I'm actually going to instead train a 60 attack so I could use dragon weapons. Like dragon scimitar is my next weapon upgrade. And I think that's probably more important than going straight for 65 at the moment. So I'm going to do that instead of doing what I've just said. So, yeah. 60 strength. Awesome. Another landmark. And 58 attack. Level. Hey, you got a combat level too. Cool. Uh, you, I didn't record 56 because I was playing on my laptop, which uh, legs to hell when I try to record. And it is a little bit complicated to get clips over. So, screw it, whatever. You don't need to see every single level, I guess. All you're going to see most. But I'm going to level on my laptop. Unless it's a significant level, I'm probably just going to not show it. Because YOLO. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, also, I got to apologize. <laughs> the last couple... I don't know. I haven't looked at my clips yet. But the... But it was all messed up because I had like a sidebar open and it completely messed up my recording. Um, so that's a thing. God, God damn! I'm all 58 hit points. I missed part of it. A vampire will never be able to take all my life away. Huh? God damn it! 55! I did miss it clicking. I got 58 attack. Two more. This is actually going by really fast. Like this tells me how fast I'm going. Like experience per hour, twenty-five thousand nine hundred, and then XP to level twenty-three thousand. So in less than an hour, I'll have another level. And I, I, now it's starting to kind of pick up. The game feels really slow at the beginning. Well, I guess it kind of feels fast all the time actually. But in my case, for training combat, it felt really slow. But uh, it's cool to finally see things. Uh, I feel like I'm actually making progress finally, especially because I can fight these things and get sick nasty loot. I've actually made probably a good 100,000 uh, gold on this task, which is real nice and really needed because we're actually kind of poor. Um, so yeah. Alright, not really close to a level, but we're close to something else that's a real special. And that is, once this guy gets to low health, our 50th task, which gives us a 150 points, which is not actually as good as I was hoping it would be. But uh, by the way, I hate these fucking lizards, man. They're the worst. Anything in the desert is garbage, and I hate it. I'm trying to get down there. So 50 tasks in a row. That uh, that's pretty awesome to be honest. I'm I'm so proud of myself. I'm aiming for 400 to unlock the Slayer helmet. Apparently, it's more efficient to unlock Slayer rings first, which just lets you teleport around. But Slayer helmet uh gives you what was that? The dragon? Oh, hold on. Hold on a second. A wandering impling? Uh, I'm aiming for the Slayer Helmet, and, um, yes, uh, good tangents. Love it, bye. Hey, oh no, 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 don't you dare steal my dragon, please. I got 45 range. This is horrible. I got these blue dragons as a task, and it's best to range them. Unfortunately, I'm so low level that... I mean, I'm hitting now a little bit. Actually, I'm hitting a lot more now, but it is it takes so long. I've killed three, and it's probably taking me like 10 minutes to kill three. But the one thing is, I'm getting a lot of money from it. Each time I kill one, I get like a guaranteed like 4,500 coins, which is amazing, by the way. Um, but I'm probably like, I have to kill 152. There's no way. I don't know what it means by streak. 
<laughs> I don't know. Like, there's no way I'm going to be able to kill 152 because it would seriously take hours. So I'm going to probably do just kill a few. I'll probably kill like those inventories worth and just kill the BBs, which don't give me much money, but they get me through. I'm not, I'm not ready to take this on yet. I don't think. Just getting in here was terrible, by the way. I had to. Uh, I'm scared to go look at the map because this girl's gonna steal my dragon. So I had to like come through this gate right here, but it was locked. Oh wait, I'm still attacking. Am I? I am. Oh my god. Okay, so I came through the entrance here. Did I just run? No, okay, we're good. I see that flag there, which no means are. I came through the entrance here, then I had to run all the way around this way, all the way through here, through here, and then I got to this gate. Wait, can you guys even see my mouse? You can't see my mouse. <laughs> the gate to the east there. And it uh, turns out it was locked. And I was like, I don't remember that being a thing. And I had to run all the way down here and find like a guy in a cell or something to take a key from it. I have I had no memory of that. So it was terrible, and I, I, it took me forever to figure it out. It's, it's a long walk to begin with to get here, so it's it's been pretty miserable, to be honest. And here's me doing an herb farm run. I figured I'd show the first time I do this, and I'll also show the results when I get it. So always just fast forward. I was gonna speak over it. I'll do quickly run, and we do it around here. So things have actually changed. There used to be five herb patches, but there's like eight now or something like that since the last time I've played. There's like three additional, which is crazy to me. And I'm actually freaking doing the stupid flower patch by accident for a sec. But uh, yeah, herb, uh, getting herbs, farming herbs is actually an extremely profitable thing, or at least it used to be. In doing more research after recording this, I don't know if it's as profitable as it used to be at this point. And uh, it's it's pretty good. So I'm planting around our seeds. This seems to be one of the more profitable seeds to uh, get. There, there might, I think there's a couple more that are better. It used to be snapdragons are the best, but those are no longer profitable, I guess, or as profitable. Which is unfortunate since those are a pretty good experience, but oh well. Uh, I mean, I want to do this more for money. So I should, if I was, were to do all eight, you average around 5,000 gold pieces per uh, seed, which really isn't, like I said, that much. And that's only per average. The thing is with farming herbs, it's like a random, sometimes they'll die. So you'll just literally lose all the money you spent on the seed. And um, other times you uh, you only get like five herbs. There's like five to like, I don't know, like 12 herbs you get off of a single plant. So if you get all 12, let's say you get all 12 or all eight er like patches. Like that's a lot of profit, but of course that's pretty rare. So you can see I'm just running. I, I only have, as far as I'm aware, five available to me right now. There's three I can unlock, um, including this new one on this, which I actually get lost running to. But you'll see the clip cut in a second as I get to this. I believe this is the final one, right? Yeah, I only have one more seed left. But uh, yeah, so they take 80 minutes to grow, I believe. And um, the more you do this, obviously, the more profit. So it's, it's not that much money. Yeah, see, I ran to the wrong spot. I thought it was here. It's not like crazy amount of money, but just you know, it's like little like chip damage almost. You know, it's like the more you do it, the more money you'll make and stuff. And slowly over time, you'll get a lot more money. And here's the last patch here. Okay, uh, I'll show my profit next time. 59 attack! Amazing. One more until not only do we... Uh, uh, do we uh, get level 60, but we also unlock a brand new weapon, a Dragon Scimitar, kind of. We gotta do a quest first, though. Also, I decided to start killing these things with melee, even though that hasn't really been going well. I've, I've literally actually been kind of doing it just to drain the rest of my food here, because I brought too much. I've been killing the babies instead, which are much weaker, but they don't, they don't drop all the good stuff. So, um, yep. One more level in attack. It's probably gonna be a bit before we get it, but hey, we're almost there. Thank the Lloyd. And 55 Slayer! You can now kill Turoth, which is actually a pretty good assignment because they give you a lot of herbs, which is uh, really good money. Um, I gave up on trying to kill the Mama Dragons, and I'm just killing the BBs again because, fuck it, it's taking too long, and I've been doing this task for literally hours upon hours. Um, it says 49 minutes, but I was doing it earlier too. This is the second log instead of third, or I don't know. Hello, my name's Chris. I'm an idiot. I missed the prayer level. I had no idea it was even close. I didn't unlock anything. 41 prayer. Woo! This level, however, I did not miss. 59 hit points! And I think 72 combat! Hell yeah, dog. One step closer to, 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 to taking over the world. And wow, almost about to level up attack as well. Dang. Well, it's really well to be 60 attack. That's awesome. And finally, finally 60 attack. 
Oh my god, thank the lord. Actually, let's continue going for strength. Um, hold on, we're gonna we're gonna kill this thing real quick. Come on. Come on, let me get zero. Let me get zero for the next ten hits. Four. Oh thank god. Okay, so uh this should unlock. Dragon weapon, which is really the first like really good. Well, not really good, but it's pretty good like attack weapon. So obsidian weapons too. Um, so a lot of this is pretty good, and um, yeah, I'm pretty excited. Unfortunately, what this also means is we now have to do the quest uh, monkey madness. Wow, I'm surprised I scrolled right to it. Which uh, I'm horrified. This quest. It took me literally all day. I remember getting mad and punching my computer as a kid a lot because I was so angry at this quest. So what's that going to be like today? <sighs> as soon as I've done this quest, I'm going to go try it out. Oh, God. Oh, oh crap. Uh, the baby leg. Uh, no. <laughs> 34 farming. I didn't I didn't expect to get one for planting a seed or something. I might have just been putting the compost down. You got... You can now grow Golovan Go Golovanova fruit and corn. That's new. Never uh, done that before. Anyways, well, I wasn't gonna show myself picking these herbs till later, but uh, I mean, you just go use the herbs on this tool up comedy or turn the notes for you. Definitely not a scam. Turning your real life things into paper. No, no, sir. And running to the final herb patch. And it's not dead. Oh my god, awesome. Okay, none of the herbs died, which is fantastic news because, uh, well, spoiler alert, I actually did this once already just because I wanted to test it out. I, uh, However, I only use super compost for this. I don't know if super compost and ultra compost, if the difference is they give you more yield or if they just give you less chance of it dying, or perhaps both. But uh, I, actually, <laughs> I actually did not make profit the first time I did this because one of my herbs died. So that really sucked. And um, I'm hoping, uh, well, I'm definitely going to make profit just based on the fact that none of my patches died. Thank God. Um, and also, I, I'm pretty sure at least the super compost, I think it stops things from running as quickly. So let's uh, quickly do a quick test here and see how much profit we just made by selling these herbs and then buying back five more seeds because I'm actually pretty poor. Oh, also, I got two agility levels last night. Um, I can't forget to, I can't forget to say that in a couple previous clips, but you, you may have even noticed it. Although I'm sure no one's watching this close enough for that to even matter. So <laughs> let's sell these. Uh oh, you twenty. Oh no. Uh oh. One, two, three, four. Oh God, we made uh, well twenty thousand. That's not too bad to be honest, especially at my level. But look at your money I have. I don't have a whole lot to be honest. Plus, I wasn't really even that since the super compost itself. But uh, five of those cost seven thousand. So I really only made like ten thousand gold in that. So is it really worth it, especially when you're on the chance of herbs dying? kind of not really actually so i might actually stop this for now until i have more money and i can actually afford to do this because this is not looking very good but anyways this is actually where i'm going to end this video um i actually did a decent amount this video i uh i got 60 attack and strength both from around 55 i believe 55 slayer is pretty good um Next time I uh, play this game, I am going to start on uh, Monkey Madness. I can't find it. God oh, dang it, I'm stupid. Uh, but I didn't mention this. The reason why I want to do Monkey Madness, I, well, I badly explained it. Or I, I said it, but I badly explained it. Is because um, you unlock 60, uh, level 6, you unlock Dragon Weaponry. However, in order to use the Dragon Scimitar, which is generally the best dragon weapon to train with i believe that could be wrong but at my level it is anyways or one of the best um you need to do the monkey madness quest which is incredibly difficult at least it was as a kid will it still be difficult i'm not sure we'll find out together i guess so join me next time and me probably raging at doing this quest um Thanks for watching, everyone. Please leave a like if you want to support this series. If anyone will actually watch this far, I'm assuming no one's going to really care. Uh, <laughs> unless this get some new viewers for some reason. Just simply due to the fact that um, I uh, 
this is not something I normally do on my channel. I, my channel is mostly Nintendo based. There goes my food beeping. I don't know if you hear that or not. I gotta go. Gotta blast. See you next time, monkey pals.